Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So I recently shared so many of the amazing Valentine's Day finds at Dollar Tree. Today I want to share putting them to use. We're going to be decorating a Valentine's Day tree, doing my coffee bar, and I'm going to share with you guys an easy tiered tray idea. I hope that you enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, y'all, let's get started. The two trees that we're going to be using, the smaller one is from Michaels, I think it was about $40, the other one is from Walmart, I think it was $70, if I can find links I will link them down below. Here's an overview of everything that we're going to be using in the tree, of course you've seen it in shop with me or haul videos hopefully. Now the ribbon is something that I like to reuse, every time I take ribbon off my tree I always just try to save it, so I am reusing some of the Christmas ribbon, but for the most part I'm using a bunch of Dollar Tree ribbon. So I'm just going to start by cutting the ribbon to the length that I need. I kind of do like 12 or 13 inch pieces. I like to do them not too long because I tuck them throughout so that they look like they're going through the tree but you don't need as much ribbon. Now I understand this is not going to be for everybody. Not everybody likes to have ribbon on their tree. Baby please do what you like. This is just an idea, this is what I'm doing, this is my tree, this is what makes me happy. But you can add more ribbon, you can add less, this is just an idea. So I know some people get very upset, very offended, they'll say, where's the tree? I can't even see the tree. Don't you worry, I can see the tree. Now the heart ribbon is from Amazon, it came in a pack of about six different styles that I will link down below in the description box, but the red and white buffalo check is actually from Dollar Tree and I had that from last year. I was so happy that I found it in my sack of stuff. I call it my sack of shit because it's so much stuff that I have from Dollar Tree. I was so happy to find that because they have it in the smaller version, but I haven't been able to see it in the bigger version. So when I do the ribbon, I try to go in a zigzag motion from the top to the bottom. So I'll go left to right, then right to left, left to right, and I'll do that all the way down, all the way down the tree, and we don't decorate the back. So if you ain't going to see it, I'm not decorating because God, it would have just take even more time because this did take me all night to do. So we're working on the topper now. I was going to use this kiss me sign, which I painted, but it did not end up looking right. I love the hearts. These are just the little Dollar Tree picks that I'm adding in there. They have some Dollar Tree little heart floral arrangement that I tried to use. That didn't work. I took it out. It's all trial and error. These are the little LED balls that I got. I got three packs of those and added those onto the tree and they're super cute. Now we're adding the hearts instead of the kiss me topper and I'm just using zip ties to attach it. You absolutely have to get the zip ties they're like so crucial for decorating the tree and they work so well so here's how we're looking so far so far so good one thing that i'm absolutely obsessed with are these string lights they come in a six pack i got four packs of them they are led battery operated so you can just flick them on i think that they look really nice in the tree the only downside is they have a black cord so you can see the black cord so i tried my best just to tuck it into the tree and make maybe like some of the ribbon go over it so that you don't see that harsh black line but i think that they look super cute super valentine's day and i really really loved what they turned out so I got one of the galvanized kisses and hug sign from Dollar Tree. I thought that it would work for the tree, but it was actually too big. It did not look that good. I try it, I walk away, so I ended up taking it out. Instead, I used some of these little rose clips. They come in a four pack. They have little clips on the end, so you can put them right on the end of the tree, and they look adorable. They're amazing. They're a must get. I wish I got more of them because I absolutely love the way that they look in the tree. They have them in pink and red, so if you see them, definitely pick those up because I'm like, um, they're so good they're good quality they're super cute they look good in the tree and they are a must for sure that I picked up this year from Dollar Tree are these little wooden ornaments. They're labeled as ornaments. I'm not sure what they really are, but they're inside of the pack. They have red, pink, and then just regular wood color. They're really, really cute, but the only thing is there's no way to hang them. So you either need to use some twine or some wire. I just used one of those little wire hooks. I put a bunch of them on the tree and they ended up looking okay. Here's one of my favorite things. These little ornaments from Christmas time. They look like little disco balls. They're my favorite. Just pulled up to the house Don't feel like getting out I'ma just lay 
stay back and crack this window I've been doing my best Taking a moment to rest Feeling stressed out Give it a good I put that on God when it gets hard I stay on my job like no days off So you can go home Here's a look at the finished tree and I am obsessed you guys. It's our first year ever doing a Valentine's Day tree and it's amazing. The kids love it. I love it. It makes the house feel warm and inviting when the lights are on. So I say do it. It doesn't matter if you have a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, somebody to actually love in a romantic way. Love yourself. Love your life. Love your home. Love your kids. Just love love and pass it on to others because to me that's what Valentine's Day is all about. Let me know what you think. Let's move on now to our coffee bar. <music> always get a lot of questions about my coffee maker and it's the Nespresso by Breville. I've had it for years. I'm obsessed with it. It makes the best coffee. I will link it down below. So I just took everything off. I wanted to start with a clean slate and when I saw these little doily hearts, I knew I wanted to put them on the wall. So I just got pink and white and I'm just using regular old scotch tape. Is it scotch? Yeah, scotch tape to attach it. If you have double-sided tape, that would probably work a little bit better, but I'm just going to use it in an alternating pattern. I'm going to do white, pink, white, pink and go all the way up the wall. Now all the Dollar Tree hearts are on there and it does look a little busy, but believe me, trust the process. I'm taking all of my Nespresso pods and adding it into this little XOXO jar that's from Ray Dunn. I've had that for years. I'm using this new Dollar Tree find as a riser. It's absolutely adorable, but it also helps to add height in your coffee bar or on your tiered tray, and it looks so good. I made this little gumball machine from all Dollar Tree items, and that video is on TikTok and Instagram. And then Dollar Tree came out recently with these little heart marshmallows. They look adorable, but they taste disgusting. So we're going to use those in the coffee bar, even though I probably won't eat them. I'll just give them to the kids. Maybe they will like them. They don't taste good. They tasted a little weird, but those in a clear jar are fantastic. So I added all of my must-haves and when I get all my sugars, I'll add those as well. I wasn't sure if I needed some more red, so I saw this little kissing booth sign at Dollar Tree. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I didn't know where to hang it, so let me know where I should put it. Should I put it right here or on the side? Put it in the comment section down below. I decided to add some of the Dollar Tree XOXO ribbon right to our little cereal dispenser. I'll link the dispenser down below. It's from Amazon. My kids love it, clearly. They love the Reese Puffs more than the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How dare they? I like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So to help add a little bit more red, I decided to just add the ribbon and the hearts, and I really liked the way that they, that turned out for sure. So I got the clear one, and I'll just take this same ribbon and wrap it around. All of the stir sticks are from Target, but I got them from Macari. The straws are from Dollar Tree, and here's a look at the finished coffee bar. I think it looks amazing. It makes me happy coming down here and making my coffee. And if you wanna see me make more of my coffee, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting all of my concoctions on my story, so I think it'll be fun to have this all of February while we make our coffee. So I want to share how easy it is to make a super simple, really cute tiered tray with all Dollar Tree items. We're going to start by taking these DIY pins. These are one of my favorite finds. They're on clothes pins. They're wooden. They're really good quality and they're super cute. So we're going to start by wrapping ribbon around the top portion of our tiered tray and then we're just going to clip all of our little pins around alternating pink, red, pink, red, pink, red all the way around or until we run out of pins. 
Next, I'm adding in one of these little hearts that are in a planter. They help to add height, and it also covers up that little circle thing that's right in the middle. Next, I'm gonna add in some of my straws. This is gonna be right by our coffee bar, so it's coffee themed. If there's one thing that you see from this video at your store, please pick up these cups. They are to-go cups that are Valentine's Day theme. There's five of them that come in a pack. They even come with little sleeves that say XOXO on them. I paid like $6 for cups like this at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all of those places. Not this year. I found them at Dollar Tree and I'm literally obsessed. You can give them as a gift with some gift cards. You can give them with some coffee. Pick those up. Next, we're going to lay down a tea towel. That one is from Target. It was only a dollar. I had it from last year. Just adding that right into the bottom to add some texture. Then I'm going to add in my coffee stir sticks. The stir sticks are either from Target, but I found them on Macari or I make them myself using. The disco ball ones are from Little Dollar Tree Ornaments and some bamboo skewers. We're gonna add in our matcha just cause I like to have it on hand around my coffee bar. We're gonna add in some of these cute little beads that I was able to find at Dollar Tree. They're red and white, they say XOXO, they go with the theme. And look at this little heart guy. He is adorable, he makes me happy, and he's getting added right to our tear tray. And that's the finished product. We added some hearts just to help with some filler. You could add some flowers, you could do some greenery. The options are endless and the budget is very inexpensive because it's all from Dollar Tree. So let me know what you think. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Here's a look at our tiered tray. Definitely give the video a thumbs up if you like it. It would make my heart super duper happy. Spread that Valentine's Day love to me because that helps me out more than you'll ever know. Subscribe to the channel before you go. I love you so very much. I hope wherever you are, you are safe happy and healthy and doing amazing. Shout out to all of my real ones who watched the entire video. I appreciate all of you. Leave the hidden word Dorito in the comment section down below. Leave it in a funny, snarky, cute kind of way and I'll feature some of you guys in my next video. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.